Shape 2016 planning team. But first, I'm here to find a co-host because I can't do this show on my own. But who is my co-host going to be this month? Hmm. Hi, I'm Catherine. I'm the DC of North Manchester Scout District and this is my 60 second scouter. My favourite hobby is dancing. What would I rescue from my house if it was set on fire? It would probably be um, my scout uniform because it has a lot of memories. So my three words that I would describe scouting is amazing, adventurous and diverse. Well for me the coolest thing about being a scout or a scout leader is that I get to meet a lot of different young people from all different backgrounds that come together for the one cause and just have fun. My favourite meal isn't a meal but if I Eat enough chicken, I would become a chicken. So my favourite TV show as a kid was Rhubarb and Custard. What has been my biggest challenge, particularly in scouting, is taking on the role as district commissioner. So who would win? Bear Grylls versus a bear? Mm, I think it's got to be Bear Grylls, all the way. If my life was a book, the title would be Oh Dear. So this lovely lady here is my co-host for the month. So how are you? I'm very well, thanks Mike. Good, good. So I believe you're going to teach me a scouting skill. So what yes. are you going to teach me this month? I'm going to teach you how to start a fire. Okay, this may be a little bit dangerous I feel. With fire, be safe. Always be with an adult. And probably not me. We also have fire extinguishers, so be safe as well. Teach us! Okay. Show us everything. What so, do we need to do? With fire, you need to know the three fundamentals of how fire works. Okay. okay. So three. Yeah. We know what those are. Yes. It's the fire triangle, so that would be fuel. Yes. Air. Yes. I want to say spark. So what's that? It's heat, isn't it? Heat. So those are the three things. So fuel, air and heat. The spark. So that's okay. great. So, we have our fuel, yes. which is going to be whoop, <laughs> <our cart. laughs> That's it. cotton wool. Cotton wool, brilliant. We have the air around us, yeah. otherwise we won't be breathing. Check. Okay, and to make our heat, our spark, we're going to use a flint and steel. I've never used, ooh, wow, ooh, 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 okay. Ooh. Shall I do that again? Yes. Okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> However, Ow. For, for this, okay. particularly when you're doing it with the sections, yes. there are lots of different flint and steels out there. Right, okay. okay. So the basic one you can get is something a bit like this. You find it in your um, survival kits, you know, your little tins right. with bags and stuff. Yeah, yeah. So this is a basic flint and steel. Okay. They're quite hard and complicated to use. Right. There are these where you can actually hold on and the actual flint's down the middle. Right, yeah. And again, you can often do that. Right. But sometimes holding them again for little hands isn't yes. isn't great. Okay. So I like these because look, you've got thumb holes where you put your thumbs, which is brilliant. Okay. It also has a whistle just in case you need to kind of blow for help. Okay. <laughs> okay. And and these are great. So thumbs down always. Right. Steel always pointing down, not up, right. because we want the spice. It's like lighting a match. You always strike away from yourself. Okay. And then you've got a little steel on the end. So as a safety precaution, metal tray yeah. is the way to go. Otherwise, you'd set your wooden table on fire. Well, that's what okay. we don't want to do. Because remember the triangle, we need yes. the air. Yeah. We tease it open to get some air into it. Okay, yeah. Okay. Oh, I'm good at that. There we are. Are you ready? Um, in the I'm middle. Ready. In the middle. In the middle. 
of your tray. Place it down. Yeah, okay. done. So, air. Yeah. Fuel. Yes. Spark. Yes. Are we ready for this, people? Yes. Right. Wow. So, when you say one match for a fire, one spark for a fire. Do it slightly above because slightly the bigger above. the spark, it'll fall onto it. Right, okay. So that should be fine like that, yeah? yeah. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> so you've got the spark. And try and aim for one of these little wispy bits. Wispy at the bits, right, okay. Yeah? There you go. Hey! I can start a fire! <laughs> So it's with practice. I'm right. used to doing that all the time with bushcraft skills. Right, so okay. that's why I show off and do it with, with kind of one span. But Fantastic, thank you very much. Well done. As you may know, last month, Jax, the UK Deputy Youth Commissioner, got it right this time, had his word of the month, which was? Memories. And we got tons of emails, tweets, Facebook messages, all about it and these are our top five so first of all we have joe this is a picture of his older sister's first ever camp because she's never been on camp before due to knee problems this is lisa's favorite memory uh, and it is of her daughter and that is why she does explorers next we have rob this is a picture of his very first parade as a cute little cub scout which has now led him on to wanting to become or is a Cub Scout leader now. Then we also have Robert. These are all his pictures of last year when he went to the World Scout Jamboree. I am so envious, it's unbelievable. And the last one is Scouting Mummy. And this is a postcard of her beaver section of everything that they did in 2015. So, this month, this is Jags's word of the month. So this month, Jags, take it away. Now recently I've been to Australia and Kuala Lumpur, so your word of the month is traveling. So Jags's word of the month is traveling. So we want you to send your photographs through to us of traveling, either through Twitter, Facebook, or via email. And we will select the best five next month. We all love to see what everyone's doing. We have Big Brother and we like to nosy. So we decided we were gonna do something of a night in the life of, to see what all of you guys actually do. So this month we have... The Piranha Explorer Scout Unit. So here is their night in the life of.
knock, knock. Who's there? <laughs> that is exactly the question that we have been asking certain cubs in Manchester. And we've asked them what their favourite jerk is. And here's just a few from the 105th Manchester Cub Scouts. What do you get if you lay face down under a cow? A pat on the back. What did Elsa do with a balloon? She let it go. Why didn't the parrot do his alphabet? Because he got stuck at sea. <laughs> <laughs> How do miners pick their nose? Mm. With a pickaxe. <laughs> <laughs> Why did the cow cross the road? To get to the movies. <laughs> <laughs> the Wilgo box is a box. It's a bit like this, except it's wooden and a bit bigger. So it's not really like that at all. But it's been up and down the country asking questions at certain events. And the question is this month. What does scouting mean to me? And these are the responses that we got. Scouting for me means lots of adventures, as, such as going to jamborees and I travel around Japan in the summer. Scouting means to me that I can try new experiences. Scouting means to me being with my friends. And scouting means to me fun Thursday nights. And it's the joy of the kids' faces, whatever we're doing. Scouting means that you get to spend time with your friends but you, and you make new ones. Scouting means to me making friends. Scouting means to me that I can try new things I've never done. Scouting is to me having fun with your friends and being part of a team. The thing I like most about scouting is uh, the freedom and being with your friends and having fun. Scouting means to me everything because it's fun and you get to go on lots of scout camps. Scouting means to me uh, a lot of things because it brings together the wider community. It brings together the wider community and makes you integrate with other people from outside your area. What he said. <laughs> it means to me when I go to camp, and I really like it. It means to me friendship. Scouting is when I socialise with my friends. Scouting means to me a way of life. Putting into practice everything I learned in scouting. And to me, scouting means always be prepared. When we started on the 1st of January, we had a massive amount of people contact us. Two, in fact, contacted it. It was, it was amazing. But since then, we, I am very grateful because we have now over a thousand followers on Twitter, a hundred likes on Facebook, and we now have a hundred subscribers on YouTube. So to celebrate that fact, we decided we needed what everyone else has in the world, which is a mascot! Yay! So we put on Facebook and Twitter to find out what this little fella's name is going to be. And we had quite a lot of response from people. Some people gave us tons of ideas, other people gave us one or two. So, the name of our mascot... Oggy Bo. Oh, ooh, Oggy Bo, I like it. So, Why is that like? Well, Oggy, because he's a hedge hoggy. Mm -hmm. And Bo, because not only does he have that rainbowy effect, but he's in scouting, so obviously he likes archery. Excellent. So Oggy Bo, you'll be seeing a lot more of. We'll see him soon, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> it's part of the show where we are challenged. <laughs> but last month, we had a phenomenal success of the sleeping bag challenge, thanks to Fee. And we'd like to congratulate Sean from the Broad Oak Explorers for getting 12.89 seconds packing a sleeping bag. Very well done. I know. But that means that this month we are going to be challenged. So, here's what we've got to do. Hi, I'm Mark and I'm one of the U-Shape 2016 planning team. Now our challenge for you is a tasty one and an enjoyable one. And what you have to do is take one of these, a chocolate digestive, stick it on your forehead and you have to move it down your face without touching it and then you're going to have to eat it. Now, you're not going to do this once, 
You're going to do it twice, and then you're going to do it a third time. And you'll see who can do it in the fastest possible time. And you're not allowed to drink anything. And the chocolate has to face down onto your face. Good luck. Thank you, Mark, for your challenge this month. I have three chocolate digestives. I think I've got three chocolate digestives. No, 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 no. Right. Are you ready? No. First one on your forehead. Okay. On your marks. Get set. Go. I feel like one of those. <laughs> is it dairy milk adverts? <laughs> or the eyebrows? Oh, it fell off. Oh, oh I'm well. doing good. Mm -mm. It's. It's on my nose at the moment. I haven't fell on the floor. <laughs> are, you, are you nibbling your. I'm you, nibbling it. <laughs> I'm sure that's cheating. No. Mm. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Have we done it yet? No, but I'm putting it back on my eyeball. <laughs> Come on. You have no idea how I'm doing this. <laughs> Oh, is it? That's <laughs> on my neck. <laughs> I'll, I'll put that thing on. Oh, 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 Where was that water? Whoa. <laughs> right, third one. Oh, 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 oh. No. Oh, oh. No. Oh, 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 oh. I'm not cheating. I don't care at all. Mm. No. Um. I hate you, Chef. <laughs> we have to swallow. What? <laughs> we have to swallow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, let's go, let's go. Yeah. I don't like Mark. I never. All three! I've got mm. I'm still on my set. Getting it. <laughs> this is very messy. <laughs> Keep going, Mike. Come on, I'll go to your leader. Come oh, on, no. Mike. Come on, Mike. <laughs> That's cheating, it's in your hand. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> you can do it. Mm. Oh, Mike. Mike can do this. <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna do it. So we give him a cheer on. Come on, Mike! Come on, Mike! Come on, Mike! <laughs> Sit down there, shall I tell it? Use your hands. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> we'll check the chocolate out later, don't worry about that. <laughs> <laughs> that was a very good challenge, so thank you. <laughs> Did your mother not tell you to eat your mouth closed? <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ta-da! Well, you cannot believe it, I actually won. 
Hi, I'm on mic. <laughs> so, we are going to now challenge you to beat my score. Please. No, I think nobody can do this, so I'm challenging you Some to beat me. <laughs> and you can send it by Facebook or Twitter with the information on the link below. And please, you've got one month to do it in. So that's the end of our show. Don't forget to hit the subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up and be creative. Be part of our next show. You could even be sitting in this chair. The most exciting part is, if you take part, this is the badge to have. That's it, exclusive only to people who participate. But above all, be a little scouty delic. Bye.